Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the next patch, Scraps of Fate. This time on my Stamina Dragonite with a 2-inch front bar and do with back bar build. With Wrecking Blow as main spammable which provides no major berserk. Let's get straight to the build, front bar Relic Van, the strongest single target PvE proc set, did almost 10k single target damage and there's a simple and effective way to increase this value by just slow down your light attack weaves like this it procs more often but not sure if it's even intended usually you should benefit from a faster weaving time right but in this case with fracking blow it's your ability fits in very well if we slow down the light attack pace back bar classic pillar of nun the second strongest proc set which also deals aoe damage really nice combined with her chronos waiting kill and smithic for extra crit damage and crit rate and this monster set zan what else, the strongest single time monster set. Alternative to Reliquin and Pillar of Nun are Vogel of Deaths on the back bar with Advancing Yukida on the front bar. With our two daggers on the front bar, we lose a ton of crit rate, which makes Advancing Yukida viable in this case. Did some tests with Black Rose Prison daggers on the back bar without killed and Coral Riptide instead of Reliquin with uh, still Pillar of Nun had similar results around 2 to 3k less damage on the dummy. Instead of Zan, Kiana is a good option too, or Stormfist for extra AoE damage. Armor types, I'm on 6 medium and 1 light armor for extra penetration. Like this I'm slightly over the crit damage cap with 127%, so only 2% over and slightly over the penetration cap. But keep in mind, this build is perfectly optimized for dummy parses. For actual content, you need to adapt this build yourself, simply because it's not possible to keep up every buff and debuff on maximum uptime, and sometimes you don't even have access to some support sets. Just as example, let's say you are in an optimized dungeon group, but without elemental catalyst, which provides 15% crit damage. In this case, we would lose 15% crit damage, means we would need to add a crit damage blue CP, like backstabber, or fighting finesse to get at least close to the crit damage cap. For PC users, I recommend to use the add on called Combat Matrix for all the information you need. Try to keep the penetration value at around 17.5k to 18.5k. Pen cap is at 18.2k uh, by the way. And for the crit damage value, keep around 120% to 130% ish. It's fine even if you're slightly over the caps. Keep in mind in actual content you will never have the perfect uptimes. Just some small and important informations here. Trades for divines for the maximum crit rate bonus with thief mundus, for max stamina glyphs on the body, on jewelry for bloodthirsty with weapon damage, on the front bar a great sword, imprecise with the poison chant, and back bar do wield both infused with flame damage and the berserker glyph. Quick look on the skills front bar engulfing flames for 6% more flame damage and a nice powerful AOE dot, venomous claw, powerful single target dot, then wreckable or spammable. I basically put out barb trap from the front bar to the back bar, like this I have access to major berserk with wreck blow, then mortal whip, still slotted for the extra 300 weapon spell damage and on top I use it as semi spammable. So let's say if every single dot is up and not close to expire, I simply bar swap with Molten Whip. So as to use Wrecking Ball Sparable, but shortly before I bar swap, I use Molten Whip and then I go to my back bar. Like this, I don't really lose a lot of time because it's always annoying to bar swap with gender abilities. Then Flames of Oblivion, Powerful Dot, and Flawless Stormbreaker just dotted for the extra weapon damage. Backbar Barb Trap for Mana Force, 10% extra crit damage and extra dot. Daily Cloak, deals good amount of AoE damage and also provides Mage Evasion, 20% damage reduction against AoEs. Karma Hunter just slotted for the Savagery buff, like this we have Savagery on both bars, the 12% crit rate. Then Eruption, powerful AoE dot. Degeneration for the Mage Brutality buff, like this we can use the Heroism potions, which are super expensive but definitely worth on a DK, means we can use banner more often. If you don't have enough money for those heroism potions, then just put out Karma Hunter for an extra dot, like Kyotrops, and Degeneration for, for example, Randy Slashes. 
deals slightly more single target damage. And then use the normal weapon power potions. Like this you don't need to use those expensive heroism potions. But keep in mind you will lose some DPS. If you have stamina sustain issues you could go with scouting rune and degeneration. Since I'm using the green max stamina food. Usually only if I pass a nature content I would go with the max stamina max HP food. This one here. And if you have really sustain issues go with the regen food. The llama food soup for extra stamina regen. Ray stamina. Best in slot, for extra weapon spell damage, max magic and stamina. As Mundus the Thief, for extra crit rate, attribute points, everything in stamina, CPs, blue run steady aim, Tomaturge, Explorator and Raw for Strikes. If you have issues to get uh, the crit damage cap, go with Backstabber instead of Exploiter or Fighting Finesse if you can't flank the enemy. Red runs Rejuvenation, Fortified, Bombs Vitality and Celerity. I managed to get 128k plus DPS, around 4k less than previous patch, but keep in mind previous patch the banner ultimate was bugged. Don't get distracted by the 130k passes which are online. Those passes were made when the chains gave you 10 second major berserk. They nerfed it after I think PTS week 2 to 4 seconds. Now it's kinda useless. Here we are with the pass. I will link you the written rotation in the description below with the written guide, check it out. If you have questions, type them down below or just add me on Discord. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.